Hello and welcome to our lecture of introduction to mechanobiology. In the last class, I described some of the focal addition proteins which are most prominent in dictating the function of focal additions. Okay. So, focal additions, if I draw a cell, okay, you can have these as focal additions. Okay. So, these are your focal additions, I will write FAS. And some of the major focal additions that we discussed in last class include integrins, okay, tailin, paxilin, vinculin, focal addition kinase or FAK and alpha actinin. Okay. So, all these focal addition proteins play various roles in dictating the behavior of these additions. Okay. So, and what has been found was, so given that there are greater than 100 proteins, which localize, which are present at additions. So, the question is how are they specially located? Okay. So, this question was answered by Claire Waterman Storer. Okay. So, she used super resolution microscopy. So, she used super resolution microscopy. So, super resolution microscopy techniques have resolution of order 20 nanometers in x y plane and order 10 to 15 nanometers in z direction. Okay. So, using this she determined the spatial localization of individual focal addition proteins within focal additions. So, what she saw was, so I is short form for integrin. So, you have the cell, you have the matrix. Okay. So, closest to the substrate is of course, the integrins because this is what engages the outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. Okay just on top of integrin you have integrin signaling layer and here you have proteins like paxilin and FAK. Okay. Both of these proteins can directly bind to integrins. In force transduction layer okay, you have vinculin and more important tailin which exits which exhibits a angular configuration, which means that your n terminal domain of tailin would be present close to integrins, because tailin has been associated with integrin activation. Okay. So, tailin is known to activate integrins. You have vinculin, which also binds to tailin. So, both of these, pro both of these proteins are present in the force transduction layer on top of which you have actin regulatory layer and this is where alpha actinin is present. And at the exact top you have, so if this was an hole was an addition, at the exact top you have stress fibers which emanate from these additions. So, these are your stress fibers. Okay. So, this shows you the organization, the special organization of proteins within the additions. So, I have also mentioned that in the same cell, in the same cell, okay, you have okay, you have different types of additions. Okay, their sizes are different, their dynamics is different. 
okay. So, at the edge of the, so if the cell is migrating this way, then this edge is called the leading edge. or lamellipodia ok. So, in side view if I were to draw the same picture in side view. So, a cell is migrating this way just so this is where you have your lamellipodia right underneath these you have these let me draw it with a different color. So, these small dots, so these are called focal complexes. Okay. So, these are more dot like. Okay. So, they are roughly order 1 micron in size in length. Okay. And the typical, so Morphologically also these additions differ, morphologically they differ and compositionally also they differ. So, in terms of composition these are enriched in paxillin and vinculin ok. And so, these are the smallest additions that you can have at the periphery of the cells. So, these larger additions that I had drawn, so these are called focal additions. Okay. So, the size of the focal additions, so focal additions are present at the cell periphery. can be 2 to 5 microns in length. And these are also more oval in shape ok. And these in terms of compositional you have integrins like alpha v, paxillin, vinculin, alpha actinin, tilin, fac and many others ok. So, the average time scale of these focal additions, so these are much more stable, much more stable compared to focal complexes. On top of this you might have fibrillar additions ok. These are 1 to 10 microns in length and they are present more centrally. So, central region of cells and they have alpha 5 integrin and this small called tensin ok. And these are also more stable ok compared to F s ok. So, if I were to draw these, if I were to write down this small, so let us say focal complexes, you have focal additions and let us say fibrillar additions. So, when cells first engage additions, you might have these appear as small dots, ok. These are even called nascent additions, ok. So, if you follow the time span, so delta t is order 1 minute, you can begin to see focal complexes FCs. So, let us say we write nascent additions to FCs, delta t is 
order 5 minutes you have if is and then order 20 minute you have five dollar additions okay so along with the size maturation so you have morphological maturation go hand in hand with composition or compositional maturation. So, these two happen at the same time okay. and what has been found as the transition. So, the agent with converts immature to mature okay, or nascent additions all the way to fib A depends on Okay. So, it is not that they just assemble together, it is force which drives the conversion of small additions to bigger ones, suggesting that there might be some signaling associated with protein unfolding which leads to recruitment, leads to a positive cycle which recruits more addition proteins and, and that is how you get maturation of these focal additions. Okay. So, this kind of suggests that forces direct additional maturation ok. So, one of the first studies one of the first seminal works which showed this that so to ask the question that how sensitive are focal additions to forces ok. You have Alexander Bershetsky ok, you have Professor Alexander Borshetsky ok. Do this experiment in we what he did was you take you take a cell ok on a substrate you come down with a pipette ok. So, this is a pipette. And so, in side view you would have something like this. So, side view you have this cell ok with the nucleus, you came down with the pipette ok. So, your pipette is you roll it, roll the pipette ok. So, what you essentially have done is you have exerted some local forces on these cells. So, these cells were fibroblasts which were transfected with GFP vinculin. So, what he showed? So, what he showed was if you have a cell ok which has you know your ok maybe this is not the right way maybe draw, we draw it in a different way ok. So, you had cytoplasmic localization ok and then what you did you came down with this pipette ok you came down with this pipette and rolled it on the cell ok and what he found was immediately after removing there was recruitment of these additions at the site in which force was exerted. So, you have adhesions grew in size ok 
at the site of application of force. So, this was the first demonstration, first demonstration that cells were focal additions exhibit force dependent growth. Okay. So, this was the first proof that focal additions exhibit force dependent okay so this was the first proof that forces influence or lead to growth of focal additions okay one more point he demonstrated so he repeated this experiment two con two conditions so one condition was cells cultured on fibronectin coated substrates and the other condition was cells cultured on polyelysine coated substrates. Okay. So, in fibronectin, so on fibronectin surfaces, okay, on fibronectin surfaces, he observed FA growth. So, focal additions grew when cells were exerted, when cells were exposed to force, exposed to pipette pushing on the cell. But on polyelysine, there was no FA growth. Okay. So, this suggests, so possibility, so in fibronectin, integrins engage fibronectin. On polylysine, addition is purely charge based. Because polylysine is positively charged, the plasma membrane is negatively charged. So, you just have charge mediated addition. Okay. So, this proved that this force dependent growth. applies to integrin based additions. Okay. So, this was a seminal paper which first demonstrated the sensitivity of focal additions to forces and also okay, also that integrin mediated additions are what are necessary in order to mediate this force dependent growth. So, one other study, okay. so you have two groups, okay. Benny Geiger. So, you can, so on this focal addition growth, the forces that are required. So, this experimental setup did not allow a way of quantifying the forces which the cells were feeling or how much forces the cells are capable of doing. For that purpose, okay. So, to actually be in a position to measure forces, what people have done is they have taken elastomeric materials okay. and what you can do is you can pattern them So, imagine these are fibronectin dots and the elastomeric material like let us say PDMS 
is by itself pass inert, so cells cannot stick on this. But when you plate, when you functionalize the substrate with these fibrinating dots and you plate cells, they would happily spread on these, they would happily spread on these and they will make focal additions at the site of contact. Okay? So, you will see focal additions being formed by the cells. by engaging fibronectin dots. Okay. Now, what this setup allows? So, imagine you have a grid of fibronectin dots. So, imagine at each of these corners you have a fibronectin dot. So, let us say these are fibronectin dots and you are tracking the position of these dots. Now, let us say let me draw the outline of a cell. Okay. Under some condition if you see so with the green dots I have shown the position deformed position of some of these red dots. Okay. So, and what you find is the way I have drawn it is intentionally. So, the green dots represent deformed positions of the red dots. So, since this is a grid, you can very easily capture in what direction these beads have been, these points have been deformed. So, this would allow me to determine displacement of each focal addition. Okay. So, this allows you to find out how much has been the displacement of each of these positions and because this material is elastic. So, you can just multiply this delta d by the spring constant of the material. So, k delta d is the force exerted by the cell at a focal addition. Okay. So, using this strategy you can actually quantify the force that the cell is exerting at the focal addition. Now, what this experiment allowed? So, if I were to draw a cell, let us say this is portion of the cell, this is the nucleus and let us say So, you can find out by doing these experiments, you can find out the location of the focal addition the size of each focal addition the shape of each focal addition okay, and as well as the force exerted at each focal addition. Okay. So, what the authors found was that each of these okay, at each of these focal additions so, I have drawn these red arrows, these red arrows depict the forces at each addition and the direction. So, the length of each arrow, so length of each arrow is equivalent to the magnitude of the force that has been exerted and the direction depicts the direction along which the cell has exerted the force. 
So, what you see from this picture is that the biggest addition has the highest force. So, there is a scaling between focal addition size force exerted. Okay. So, there is a scaling between the size of the focal addition and the force. Also, if you were to approximate each of these as an ellipse, okay. so what you see is the direction of major axis is same as direction of force. suggesting that the forces or the focal additions are aligned in the direction of forces. Okay. So, two things bigger the focal addition larger the force the long axis of the focal addition coincides with the direction in which the force has been exerted at that particular direction and as you go inward towards the nucleus. So, bigger forces at the periphery or larger forces. at cell periphery okay. and as you go inside the focal the size the magnitude of the forces. So, for example, right around the nucleus I have intentionally drawn small arrows in random direction. So, there is no constant behavior among these additions which are small in size and close localized close to the nucleus. With that I stop here I would like to summarize by saying that focal addition. So, there is a very close relationship between force and focal addition assembly. Okay. So, cells exert contractile inward directed forces at focal additions. The, the magnitude of the force is proportional to the size of the focal addition and the direction of the force coincides with the long axis of the focal addition. That is it for today. I look forward to next day's lecture. Thank you.